So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. It looks like another hot day in Tennessee. First thing we're gonna do today is get the 574, put some grease in the uh, flail mower. It's got some grease zerts on the back of it. And I'll probably go ahead and grease the loader also. Hello, John. How's it going, buddy? And uh, what was I saying? John, you got me off track here. We're gonna be going down here to the lower field and doing some flail mowing this morning. And then after that, I think we'll head on down to the wood shop, unless I change my mind and work on that anvil stand. I've got a small problem with it. So you guys hang in there, got a lot going on. You better go find somewhere cool to be, John. It's gonna be a hot one today. Now I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure this tractor is low on diesel. Let's find out. It also needs a good cleaning. This thing's dusty in here. Oh yeah, right on empty. Let's head up to the sawmill and put some diesel in it. I should never park a tractor with less of a half of a tank of fuel. I should do better. mold today friends actually isn't too high it's only about 12 inches i usually wait till it gets about you know 18 or 20 before i mow it but i need to do some backhoe work and the backhoe goes on this tractor so go ahead and knock it out today so here in a few days i can go ahead and get the backhoe ready i need to put some drainage lines around the timber frame i'm getting some water not inside the building, thank goodness, but I'm getting a lot of water on one side of it. So I need to put some gutters on it and some tile sooner than later. All right guys, there's a small grease cert right there in that opening. And I tried both of my grease guns, the manual and the battery powered one, and neither one of them will grab a hold of that cert. So something's going on. I'm not sure what. So let's take off this cover, see what the deal is. Usually I have my impact driver up here. This is a lot faster, but it's down at the other shop. So we'll just use the wrench. I don't see nothing going on with it, but that might be the problem right there. Let me wipe it off. Oh yeah, it's broke. That's the problem right there. Springs hanging out of it. I guess it's time for a new one. Before we work on that, I think I'll put this tractor up here in the shade. It's getting hot out here. All right, friends, here's what we're looking at. We've got the grease cert right there, and you can see it sheared off. There should be a nipple that comes out that the grease gun attaches to. And that just happens over time. I got a whole pack of replacement grease certs I keep on hand when this does happen. It's pretty easy to remove these. You just need a socket. I think this one is right at, what is it, nine millimeters? And they do make a tool. It's like a little universal tool that goes on here and it has different sizes. And I have that tool, but guess what? I can't find it. 
usually these are pretty easy to come off. There it comes. There you go, friends. You can see how it's sheared off. Now let's grab a new one. All right, guys, if you don't have one of these, go out and buy one. Like most things, I got mine on Amazon. Assorted grease fittings. I'll leave a link down below. Keep these in stock because you will need them sooner or later. It's always good to have them. Quarter. These are standard and not metric. So they may not work actually on this fitting. This is a nine millimeter fitting right here. Let's see if I can find something that's kind of close. No. I'm gonna have to go get my other set. I got a set of metric as well. Sometimes standard will fit if you get it just right. But these aren't gonna work. All right, let me rephrase what I said. Have two sets of these. Have standard and metric. You'll end up needing both of them. All right, let's see. There we go. One fits perfect. And while I got them out, in case you're curious, this is the larger one. It may show up on camera better. There's that little nipple on the front of the grease fitting that attaches to your gun. So that's what the other one should have looked like. We should be able to put grease right in it. Good to go. what I do with the uh, sawdust at the sawmill and the wood chips from the wood shop that come out of the molder and the planer. Well, most of it gets turned into compost. And a little disclaimer, I'm pretty sure there's a tripod mixed in with all these wood chips. I can't find one. I think it was in the bucket before I scooped this stuff up. Yep, there it is. At least I know where it's at now. I know this may be a shocker, but this is not the first time that I've done this. At least I didn't break it this time. Last time I broke it. Good deal. All right, friends, I was gonna work on the anvil stand, but I need to finish up this cherry. And there's nothing wrong with the anvil stand. I was forging some nails last night, and the problem is I need to secure the anvil to the stand. It's trying to bounce off the stand when I start hitting it with the hammer. But I'll do that later. You guys probably aren't really interested in watching that stuff. Uh, the views on the blacksmithing videos aren't too great. So uh, I'll show that in the future, but not a lot. So uh, anyways. This is the cherry that we was working on last night. We should finish this up today. I got two more cans. 
This is a customer log. We're sawing it into four quarter. The pith is in this timber right here. So I'm gonna flip it up 45 degrees and saw off of this face. And once I get down close to the pith, this one will be finished. I'll discard the pith for firewood. I've got one more can over here to work on and that one should be pretty nice. I didn't see any large defects in that one. It might turn out pretty good. On the sawmill, Joe Main Silver Tip Turbo 7. If you want those blades, call Joe. Cell phone numbers in the video description. And I'm not sure when this video will be, will be published. Let me try that again. I'm not sure when this video will be published. I'm about a week behind on videos, but if it's not August the 31st yet, Woodmiser has their double hard blades, 15% off and free shipping. This is sponsored by Woodmiser. They're not paying me to tell you guys. I'm just trying to save you some money. So hopefully, if you're wanting those blades, you got your order placed before the end of the month. Free shipping nowadays is pretty nice. I do need to check the fuel tank, so when I pull the sawmill back, I'll check that real fast and make sure the diesel's topped off. I think it's getting kind of low. We'll have to check on that.